status. Is it functional that way? That's what FD I'm talking status. about. That yeah. FD status camera in the front. Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're finally doing angle. We have all the angle components here. Extended lower control arms. I put new Moog bushings, which you guys saw in the last video. You guys haven't seen these yet. These are the modded knuckles. I bought all this stuff in San Jose. The guy had it already done, so just wanted to get it all refreshed before I throw it on the car. Thank you we got go. inner and outer tow rods, S14, PBM, offset rack spacers. We're gonna do the motor mounts today and the steering rack bushings. And then we also got the uh, ISR Pro angled front tension rods. What do you think our uh, ETA is for this project? Um, well, it is t exactly 10 right now. So I'm hoping to be done by like three. I don't know that it'll take that long. Yeah, but it's all pretty simple. It's like, like taking all this shit off before. Reg just bought this carbon fiber hood for his kooky over there. Looks, it's an origin one. Um, so that's kind of cool. But he also just traded his stock uh, metal kooky fenders for these over fenders over here and I guess he traded hoods maybe I thought he bought the hood but this guy who came through also has Reg's metal hood which probably isn't smart you should probably keep your OEM hood seems like something to do but I don't know that's just me Jerry we're tandeming right yeah fucking get on each other's doors right so this is girl on snapchat she oh, just God. sends me pictures of her dogs of her dogs or of or something else. Is that it? See, we got that. Uh, All right, that. Jer. Do work, son. Isn't that adorable? Oh god, I can't. All I right. fucking can't with this guy. Okay, so <laughs> you, should, you should do hood latches. Yeah, hood latches are good. And I said you should do arrow latches, which I have. Which you have. And I said I wish I had arrow latches. But oh, I have you the, have these pins, don't you? Yeah, I have these garbage ones. With that the, you get from AutoZone. Yeah, with like the metal. Yeah. And then the guy who I bought the car from, he put hoop earrings holding it on. Like, <laughs> just holding it on the freeway. Like girl hoop earrings, yeah, guys. Girl. Like, you know, bigger the hoop, bigger the hoe, you know? And then <laughs> on the freeway, when the guy I bought the car from, the hoop earring broke and the fucking hood went up and it smashed on the roof and it broke the, uh, it broke this part of the hood on both sides. So right here, my carbon fiber hood, has this just broken oh, off on broken both sides? Off. Yeah. <laughs> and my roof is dented from that. Oh Jesus. Okay, guys, this is uh, this is stock angle right here. This is stock oh. angle. Can you hear me? On a 246. Dude, I hope I get tan today. All right. So, what you want to do? If you guys have never done this before, I've never done it before, but it's pretty basic. Uh, take off the front tension rod. You're gonna want to take off your front lower control arm. Everything's basically gonna be a 17. You're gonna want to turn this. Um, you're gonna take off this. You might have to take out the coiler. I don't know yet because I'm not there yet. But you'll definitely have to take off this castle nut so you can put the new one in. And then I'm also taking off my front sway bar so I get more traction in the front. This is a Ryan Little production. I just want you to know that this guy is very amazing. Yeah. All, the, all the stuff that, uh, that you're uh, taking uh, photographs and all the stuff right mm -hmm. now, it could be on the internet. The plan is. Yeah. That's the plan. That's the idea. Yes, sir. You know what? Just don't talk too much. You know, you know how they're talking up trying to take time? Yeah, Reg no. talks a lot in his videos. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. If you're not going to be doing something, tell a joke. Otherwise, so, that's joke. my job. See? Yeah, you see. I hang up on when they talk too much. I'm, hey, I, I don't know, but I'm not gonna find out from this one. <laughs> nice Harley. Oh, he thanks, other, bro. It's uh. I never liked this kind of bike. Hey, uh, just in case, uh, I got a I got a complete turbo for a four cylinder, waste gate, everything. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. There you go. Look. <laughs> so just freshly unwrap them. They look amazing. Woo! Gonna put Woo, the butter. These are really mint. Mm. Like they're, these don't fucking yes. move. Like these are solid. So gonna put the C clamp on and then put the boot on. You have to put grease in here. You're supposed to pack it with grease. Reg is and always trying to grease things up. I know, Reg is I already have one hater. Hey, if you don't want to listen to me, that's fine, but I'm just telling you. Hey guys, update. So we're trying to pack the uh, ball joints down. and the top of the grease kind of okay. exploded open. And Put this cap on the line. None of us have ever actually greased a ball joint. Yeah, we've never, we've never done this before. Watch the YouTube video. Let's put, please don't put this in the video. This does not look like professional. We're not professional. People love to see screw ups. There you go. That was it, right? Sure. I think. Yeah, there you go. Cool. All right. So let's put a little bit on the oh, you top. Got it, see? Yeah, we got it. So how are you going to get it into that nipple though? So what wall? Because you don't have like, a, do you have an adapter or something that could like go to the top of that? Not really, but we'll figure it out. How we're going to do this right now. So we have like a good amount of grease and then we need to pack the bottom. So we've been greasing the bearings, we'll get back to that, but uh, we got one side in, which isn't this side, unfortunately, yeah. but we just want a little, Joe, want to show you. So pretty much here's what the angle entails. Basically, it's extended from the lower control arm, which is why these are cut and welded and a little notch so you get more angle. And then if you compare the knuckle itself, it's a lot shorter so you can get that extra. So the guy I bought it from, he shortened it and he plate welded it so there's more reinforcement. You can see the difference how long that sticks out and how short that is. And then you can tell the difference by how long this is and how short that is. That's how you get more steering angle. All right guys, so just a little update. Pretty much got everything back on. Uh, I just need to tighten everything. So here's the angled front tension rod, lines up. Put the, put the hub back on, got the bearing in, all greased up, got the modified knuckle in here, so pretty much set. I still got to put the tie rods in, but I'm getting there. All gold, everything. It's lit. We have a majestic Anthony over there. It'll work. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looking really fresh. Yeah. Fresh as fuck. Hella hot boy. Hella hot boy. Hot boy as fuck. Spirit drift name. Hot boy as fuck. When you're reassembling this, put the co control arm first. You want to put the back in first and then work your way out. So that would be the coilover next. And then I put the arm on and I put the PBM rack spacer and inner tie rod on and S14 outer tie rod. So here's where we're at. I still got to tighten everything. I already greased the bearing, so it's pretty solid. Okay. Still gotta tighten everything, but we have to move these like forward all the way. I get like stuck. That's what I was saying. Like I, I start binding. There. That's what I was saying. Like I don't think I'm gonna be able to use the full extent of this yeah. angle kit because that's the because you're too low. Yeah. We well, can't adjust the height and shit. No, Reg. Also, I don't know if you can get the camera in here, but make sure when you put the offset rack spacer, it goes towards the front lower control arm. I probably should tighten this bolt before I fully tighten this because I'm not gonna be able to get to it. The reason we're doing all this today is because the drift oh. event is tomorrow and we're all very last minute because we have jobs and we do shit so yes. we don't have time to like work on our cars and I have to come to Reg's house whenever I want to work on flat ground so we're doing this all last minute and we're hell excited. We're like down a drift but as you can see my car is getting angle kit. We still have to align it. Reg is getting fucking carbon fiber hood and new fenders. The guy whose birthday it is, Travis, shout out to Travis. Um, his car is actually down right now. He's throwing, he had a 1JZ in his car, blew up, so he's putting a 1.5J and they're putting it in right now, today, at this moment. So, we'll, we'll get it done. Hopefully everybody can slide tomorrow and we'll have fun. Left-handed. Hey! And one! A long time later, long we're, time. we're pretty much done with everything. Um, we still gotta align it, but everything's on, all gold, everything. Got the front um, tension rod, front lower control arm, got the PBM offset rack spacer. We had to put a big ass washer right here because basically this bolt is too long and on PBM's website, it says in the installation to trim this bolt because it hits the offset rack spacer. So we just put a washer. Why do they camera so much in FD? Because they have reason. yeah they have angle kits. Basically, the angle kit, since it's extended lowers, it pushes the bottom of the wheel out, so you can get more turn. Are you looking? Yeah. Oh, 
learn, right? Right, Mike? The more you learn, you learn something new every day. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was like you actually seriously mounting it. I was like, well, now we have a problem. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? I push I the wheel out. Pokes more. Yeah, definitely. It's on hella pokes. The alignment's way off because I can see it. Yeah. The that's... wheel's hella far back and it's like poked. That sounds familiar. Okay, guys, that's with the wheel straight. <laughs> oh, shit. That's so much camberger. Yeah. What are you running? Like negative. I bet you that's like negative eight or some shit. Good. Lol, that's with that the wheel straight. That is actually fucked. Well, one person just needs to stay in there, hold the wheel straight, and then we just gotta take. I wanna turn it and see. I just wanna see the potential. It's getting stuck, dude. On what? So, pretty much, we're having issues with the alignment, obviously. My inner tie rods aren't loosening, so we're just gonna get it so it drives straight, like they actually match. The steering wheel's prob probably gonna be crooked, but as long as the wheels are straight, I can drive it on the freeway. But look at that angle. Holy shit. We're, this is stock angle. That's full lock. You're fucking. That's so much angle. That's so yeah, I told you if you would have kept your strut bar, you would be hitting. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Shit. Yeah, that's fucking angle <laughs> right there. <laughs> what? what the fuck? You can go more. Reg, Look. I think he beat you. <laughs> I don't know. beat you, man. I don't know. Not on the cookie. The cookie has more. Uh, I don't think so. Right, well, no, we have to set the casters. Oh my god, you're rubbing so bad. That's so much yeah. fucking angle. That's hell angle. So much angle. That would look so sick if you were a full lock. Yeah. Both of us at full lock. Like, wah, wah, wah. Oh my god. We need to get that on video. Alright guys, so I'm just gonna wrap up the video here because we still have a lot to do, but we don't have time yeah. to vlog it. We just gotta wrap it up. So um, I know we didn't record a lot, but you guys will see more of this. You'll see it tomorrow in the next video. And you'll see all the angle and I'll do that I'll do a walk around video and everything. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys like it, subscribe, make sure to subscribe to his channel, and <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, bonus footage, got the angle boys here, just had to do that stunt.